Good morning. It's cold, ladies and gentlemen. It's cold. Look at this. These fellas don't mind the cold because we're about to go out and try to rip some lips on this here lake right here, Lake Tyler in East Texas. So we'll be back. See how we do today. There we go. Facebook Live, brother. What up? Fishing trip in East Texas. 32 degrees. <laughs> it's cold as a mug out here. Ain't nothing prettier than watching the sunrise. No, I've been trying. I'm gonna try to get the sunrise and sunset in every state. Oh, that's cool. So, I got New Mexico, and Colorado, and Texas. Just keep it up. You don't see them very often. When you do, you gotta pull out the camera because that screams America. There he is, because he knew we had a hero in the boat. That's right. That's right. All right, we're here with Brandon. Yes. Tompkins came all the way down from Denver, Colorado, and we was just sitting here chatting and talking about. Yeah, things. I'll just start from the beginning, but uh, you know, I'm on a, a path of recovery and healing myself. Uh, no different than any of you guys out there listening right now. After the war, I came back to what I thought was home, what was really just a continuation of everything that was going on. I never seek help. Instead, I, I suck decided to fix myself like we all do, right? And that led into disastrous things with substances and addiction and self-hatred and uh, one night stands, you name it, anything to, to make you feel good for a moment, right? But then that only lasted so long until the rock bottom hit and nobody's around anymore to make you feel good. So you just ruminate on those memories and bring up the past and you think and you never move on. But what they don't tell you, or what they tell you, but they don't really show you that would make you better. It might have took me 10 years, but I'm standing in front of you two and a half years clean and sober and absolutely in love with who I am. Yep. Yeah, we do get better. We don't have to be on, you know, you take the medication as much as you need it, but uh, you, you, you need to work on yourself just as much as the doctors are working on you. You know what I mean? Like you can't put all your your merit into taking a magic pill and feeling good the next day. You have to stop dying and start living. I spent the last, well not the last, but I spent 10 years of my life absolutely, literally dying on a couch when nobody cared to say anything to me until I got up, decided to make an effort into in life effort at this just like we did back in in the army you got up strapped your boots on and went to work that's what you literally have to do with life now it's fucking hard sometimes and it gets there but we're soldiers right this is what we do this is what we continue to do the only message i want to say is just we get better it might take a while but we do we get there and we never give up too. we can be happy that's the thing we can smile be happy. I'm from Baltimore, a heroin addict on the streets in the gutter, shooting up with homeless people. I'm in East Texas now, fishing with brothers, enjoying life two and a half years later. Free, sober, clean, happy. It, beyond happy, let me tell you, I am I'm now traveling the country and finding all my brothers that I haven't seen in 13 years to give just to give them a hug. And uh, I could never have done that if I'm not where I'm at now. So you just gotta strap your boots on, get to work on this living stuff. So I'm not upset at the dying, I'll tell you that much.